Okay, uh, we're going to be working on three point perspective. Uh, we'll create a data blocks. And we're going to be creating M today. So this is a horizon line. It indicates eye level. As usual, we're going to put the VP1, vanishing point 1, vanishing point 2, vanishing point 3. You can always change the uh, vanishing point. It doesn't have to be on the edge. It could extend, it could narrow, it could go left, right, up and down. So when you draw the three-point perspective, always the first line that you draw has to align with the VP3 first. So I aligned it. Create a slightly tilted. And then next job is saying, start connecting the corner, just like a two-point perspective. I'm not going to make the line too dark because some of the lines are not going to be needing it. Again, 3P2. Just like a um, two-point perspective, we need to decide how thick this item is. But again, uh, two-point perspective, we just create a vertical line, but this time, you, again, you align it. So I'm going to make it a little bit longer. And front side, maybe even more longer. Maybe that's too much. Okay, how about this? Okay. And you have to imagine how the M will go. There are uh, some multiple ways you can create M. So if you have a graph paper. So let's say if you have a one column and and you go down right and then that's one way to do M. Some people like to create our uh, M a little bit wider, having three columns, right? And sometimes some people want to make this one sharper, right? So there are multiple ways you can create, but um, since it's it's really narrow, so I'm going to avoid this. Probably I'm going to go with this one. So what we need to do is, uh, going back to that, but this is the center. We need to find the center. We need to find the exact center and then draw the line and find another center and draw these one, two, three, four columns. So that's what we need to find first. So how to do that? Um, you, you want to create an X to find the middle center. So connect that, and then this will be the center. All you have to do is connect it to the vanishing point three, and then draw the line down to find the middle. So that will be the middle. Remember, this is a perspective uh, proportion. It gets reduced as it's further go to the vanishing point. Um, so next thing, I'm gonna extend this. You wanna do is you need to find another middle center point here. So to do that, you create another line, and then this will be the center. And now we have a two columns established. So first column, second column. Now here we need to create another X point to find the center. And this is the center. And we connect that. 
So one, two, three, four. See how the thickness gets reduced. So right now, all you have to do is connect the dots. Right? Oh, let me go back to so you can be sure. See this part, center, right? So that point is this, and center, and that point is this. Okay. Good. So this is the line. So I'm going to start making it dark so you can see better. So often when uh, you first learn uh, three point perspective, because this is really dramatic, some people uh, think, oh, I made a mistake. It's not correct. You probably feel that way when you're looking at this. Right. Good. So there's M. So you're probably thinking, oh, wait a second, this doesn't look right. But yes, all the points meet half a uh, middle point. So going back there. So middle point, see the top corner, the last column, and then connect it to the middle point. And the center, there's a center here, and then connect it to the bottom. So this, everything here is correct. So that's the confusing part. The three-point perspective, it's hard to understand in the beginning because of the proportional uh, changes are rather dramatic. So connect it to the here and here. Vanishing point and the vanishing point. One. See the corner? So we're gonna create that corner here and then everything will be stopped there. So what you have to remember is when you create this line, you have to make it parallel to this one. Okay. So try to create a parallel line. Okay, same thing with this, parallel line to that. Right. And create that. And then you have a complete M. Everything is ready. So next video, we're going to be doing uh, the value.